In this video, we will look at two examples that will allow us to practice working with triangle proportionality. In example B, it says, in the diagram below, EB is parallel to CD. So let's mark that in. EB and CD are parallel. Find BC. So we're looking for this segment right here. Now because these two lines are given to us as being parallel, it means that this segment in the middle, EB, must divide the triangle up proportionally. So that means that the ratio of 15 over 10 must be the same as the ratio of 12 over BC. So if we want to figure out what BC is, we can set up an equation. I'm just going to make BC equal to X in order to make it easier with writing the equation. And the equation would be 15 over 10 equals 12 over x. And you can solve this by cross multiplying. So when you do that, you get 15x equals 120. And when you divide by 15, you get that x equals 8. So that means that the length of BC must be 8. All right, let's look at example C. Is DE parallel to CB? So we're trying to figure out if these two segments are parallel to each other. Now this is the converse of what we just did in the last example. Here, we have to test if the pairs of segments on each side are in the same ratio. So what we're gonna test is if 18 over 6 is the same ratio as 24 over 8. And if they are, that means that the lines must be parallel. 18 over 6 is 3, and 24 over 8 is also 3. So that's good, they're the same. So because they're the same, it means that DE must be parallel to CB. So the answer would be yes. And again, the reason is because the two sides have been divided proportionally by that segment DE.